What's up guys, welcome back to Twinchieri Studio and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to help improve your content using OBS on the Mac OS. So if you're making like tutorial videos like I do or if you're just streaming using your Mac, maybe you're playing like a, a game on your Mac and you want to stream and you just want a quick and easy way to put your face in the bottom like this here in this little circle, Mac has a fantastic feature with the presenter feature that I have here in the top right. So as you can see, we have the presenter overlay and I'm currently sharing my screen and it's sharing my webcam with it as well. So if I turn that off, my face goes away. And if I change it to large, then I can now present with the uh, game or whatever it is I'm trying to present in the background, whether it's a PowerPoint or whatever it is that you want to show on your screen and you want to point stuff out. And I can also quick it back to small. And this uses my FaceTime HD camera, so I can mess around with the portrait, the studio light, and even if I wanted to, I could add some nice funky reactions like this, something like a light show, some fireworks, just lots of like fantastic little features that are already built into FaceTime, and you can now use them on OBS with the screen sharing presenter feature. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So if I turn this off, and you'll see my webcam here is now currently not showing. So it is this Mac OS screen capture. Now the way to get it is you press plus and you click Mac OS screen capture. And I already have one here, so I'm just gonna open that up to show you because otherwise I wouldn't be able to show you what to do. So uh, the method you choose is display capture. Or if you really want to, if you're just wanting to use an application, so you've got a game, you can use the application capture. And if I change that to, let's say, Safari, then you will see that uh, it will only show what I have on Safari. And then I can also do a window capture if I want a specific window. Say I've got multiple uh, layers of Safari over, I can choose which window it is that I want. So if I go to Safari Dolph window, it'll have nothing there, but the Dolphin emulator one. Let us uh, say I was doing a video on Dolphin emulator and I wanted to show these uh, statistics. I could then use the window capture, but we're gonna focus on the display capture for now because I want to show you everything. Uh, OBS also has this great feature here where if you hide the, you can hide your OBS from the capture. So if you want OBS on your screen so you can see yourself, you can see what's uh, being recorded. If you click hide OBS from capture, OBS disappears and all you can see is my uh, application of Dolphin. So once you've got that set up, in the top corner, there will be a screen sharing. Now you have to give OBS permission to do this, so to do that, you go to the privacy section on your uh, Mac OS, and it will come up with a warning showing you exactly how to do this, but maybe you've said no, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it as well. So we go to the general, um, the settings, system settings, we go to privacy and security, and then you scroll all the way down, and where it says screen and system audio recording, you give OBS access to that, and there'll be a couple of other things that will pop up as well, such as like input monitoring, uh, full disk access, just all of these uh, things that will pop up. So you need to give it access to your camera and you need to give it access to your microphone as well. But all this should be set up with the initial uh, OBS setup that you do. But if it's not, then you're going to have to go into privacy and security and give it go through all those and give it all the access to that. So now how do we get the camera involved? So uh, I've basically got my webcam set up as a source, so I plused add video capture device, and then I added my webcam. So I'm currently using my FaceTime HD camera, but if I wanted to, I can switch to the my iPhone camera, because I got my iPhone camera set up. And it's not in a great position right now because I'm currently just, just got it on a stick ready to record. So this is how we choose which camera we use. So I'm gonna use the FaceTime HD camera, uh, click OK, and then I'm going to take that off the screen. I'm gonna to go to the top right corner here where we have the screen sharing and it'll show me what I'm currently sharing. And then we have the presenter overlay that I've shown you before. So if I click small, it'll put my face in this small circle here, which I can click and move around. And I can see that on my screen right now, not just in OBS. So I can look at myself while I'm recording videos because I am that vain. So if you want to put it anywhere you want, whether you like it in the top right, top left, whether you like it in the center, you can put it wherever you want. And then we also have the large one that I showed earlier. So let's say uh, I'm going to just set something up here. So I'm gonna hide OBS from capture. So you can just see my dolphin. And then I'm also going to 
put my graph on the screen that I want. So say I was I was doing a video on assorted frame rates for uh, GameCube and Wii games, and I whacked that in large mode, and then now I can move to the to the left, and I can talk through this graph and present it like I would uh, present it like I would if it was next to me or whatever. And then I can also sorry then i can also just like mess around with some of the other stuff here so i can you have the f stop so i can put it in portrait mode so that i can blur out the background if i wanted to so that's the background unblurred and this is the background blurred so and also i can add a studio light if i wanted to to mess around with the lighting at apple's artificial studio lights which is a pretty good feature and let's say i was just also messing around i could just like you know Throw some balloons in the air. For whatever reason, do a thumbs down, thumbs up, cheeky little hearts. For some reason, make it like a stormy weather, celebration, fireworks, and a laser show. Really, really cool stuff that you're probably not going to use that much, but it is nice that it's there. Also, you can mess around with the mic mode. So let me bring it back uh, to the forefront here. So if I go small, so here's the portrait section here to mess around with the portrait, turn the studio light off and on, and then the reaction section here. And then the mic mode, you can put it into voice isolation mode, which is what I'm using right now. Or you can change it to standard and it won't mess around with the voice isolation if you have like uh, your filters already set up in OBS and you don't want to mess around. But I'm putting it in voice isolation mode for now just to show you uh, how it works. So let's say I wanted to change to my iPhone camera. I'd open this webcam and I'd move it to Anthony's iPhone. And then I'd go back to the screen capture and put it on small presenter mode. And it'll try and automatically adjust. I told you my camera's in a terrible position right now. But let's say I was playing a game uh, on camera. Then you would just see. So let me take old. So let me bring OBS back up. So there we go. So if I was playing a game and I wanted to just remove OBS from the background, I could then click hide OBS. And then bring myself back into the corner. It's going to set it up. I can set up my game. I can start recording. I can play. I can see myself in the corner as well. So while I'm playing the game, I'm recording it. It's, it's a fantastic feature anyway. This is basically all I wanted to show in this video. Um, change it back to the face eight time HD camera um, I'm probably not gonna edit this either so we're at the end of the video so there's no point I've done a pretty decent take I reckon uh, I don't really need to edit this um, but that's it that's all this video is uh, we've done what eight minutes eight minutes just showing you a cool little feature that I like from OBS and from streaming or making videos on mac which is what i'm currently doing at the minute and uh i thought, I thought you know it's, it's fun put myself in the corner put myself here i can make myself the focal point because i am important and, and then i can just you know dodge this around just i had a lot of fun with it and i really enjoyed uh i really enjoyed this uh i really enjoyed this feature it's one of the great features with uh, Mac OS and screen sharing. And you can also use this in FaceTime and other things like that. Um, we're at nine minutes. I'm not gonna drag this out anymore. So uh, take care, enjoy yourself, have a good new year.